Hey friends, today is a get her done kind of day. I'm doing all the things I've been procrastinating on, including racking this wine. And I wanna show you the process and how to do that because about two months ago I made dandelion wine and I technically should have racked it, meaning taking the wine off of the yeast sediment here and putting it into a new carboy. Clean one, this is called a carboy. This is a three gallon one. You can get it on any wine supply making um, a website or probably even Amazon and I'm gonna siphon it in there so this is the yeast sediment um, and if you leave your wine on this it could have a yeasty taste so you want to re-rack it I know it sounds complicated but it's just taking the wine off of this and putting it into a new carboy and doing that on a regular basis until you do not see a um, sediment layer and you can also check your alcohol levels um, I don't do that to check your alcohol levels, you will need a hydrometer. This checks the specific gravity or the alcohol content. I use this at the very beginning when I am um, using the fruit and mixing it all together in the bucket. I need to know what the alcohol level is before I add it into the carboys. I don't check my alcohol levels throughout the process, but you can to know um, the best time to re-rack. Every recipe is a little bit different. Follow your recipe. Okay, so you would siphon some wine into here spin the hydrometer into the wine and then it bobs up and down and where it lands it'll give you a number reading it's hard to see here is um, the specific gravity or the alcohol content i had to rig up my tubing because it wasn't long enough and um yeah you want a long enough tube because with siphoning you need gravity if you have never siphoned before go to youtube and see how to siphon so i like this straight tube because then i can keep control of it because you don't want to be sucking up the yeast Rule number one, you don't want to suck up the yeast, okay? So I'm going to siphon. All right, all right, all right, all right. Goal is not to get that yeast and it starts to suck up that tube. And when you start to see that, cut it off. Sediment in the first carboy. After re racking it, this is going to sit in the pantry for another month or two. It tasted delicious. This is dandelion wine that I made in April. Airlock is back on. And oh boy, this is good stuff.